A homicide investigation is underway this hour after multiple people were found dead at a residence in Richmond Hill. Nick Westall joins from outside the home with the latest developments as the police investigation continues. Nick, what do we know so far? Yeah, Erica, police have been tight lipped uh, all throughout the evening here, but certainly what's happened is a tragedy. Three people have been found dead inside the home behind me. Now, here's what we do know so far. Officers were called to this home on McKay Drive at around 4.15 p.m. on Wednesday. They say someone asked if officers could check on the well-being of the home's occupants. It's unclear what exactly the nature of that concern was. After they arrived, three people were found dead inside. We don't know the genders or ages of the victims or where exactly they were found. We also don't know the relationships between the deceased or if all of the people did in fact live here. In a statement released a short time ago, investigators say it appears to be an isolated situation and that there isn't a broader safety threat at this time. We've seen officers coming and going in this house all evening and in fact moments ago, the coroner's office arrived to remove the bodies from inside. Not long before that, we could see forensic investigators donning bright white suits going inside the home and back out to their van. Now, if you're familiar with Richmond Hill, we're just off of Young Street between Hillcrest Mall and Richmond Hill Centre. As for the home itself, we can see there are a couple of cars in the driveway along with basketball nets. We haven't been able to see too much of the house itself simply because it's just so dark out here. Now, this is a pretty quiet street. It's made up of large single family homes and um, uh, we've seen vehicles passing by all evening, but in terms of neighbors, we haven't seen anyone um, at this scene here. So as for what's next, uh, the homicide unit has put out an appeal for more information. They are looking to speak with anyone who might have information on what's happened here. Meanwhile, we are gonna be following up with uh, York Regional Police tomorrow to try to get more information on what exactly has happened here. Live in Richmond Hill, Nick Westall, City News.